What's going on guys? This is Sabro Fighter 4. Today I have a double feature for you guys, Pokemon TCG matches in Expanded. And we're gonna be using Mewtwo V Union. Haven't really used this deck uh, since the first time I showed the deck profile and matches with it. I didn't really change it either. I don't think there's anything I could put in or I acquired that would change the deck. But we're gonna see if it's still good, like my original build, if it can put in some work. It's all about trying to get the new 2v union out as soon as I as soon as I can really quickly um, I don't know if I how many Cresselias I have in this deck actually if I got some more but anyway we're gonna start with Giratina and I have an NK my opponent seems to be pissed for some reason I don't know if he got like a bad hand or whatever don't have a clue uh, but he is gonna have the advantage here looks like he's playing Eternatus VMAX um, new 2v union weak to dark so that's that's a problem in Expanded. There's a lot of powerful Darkness Pokemon. So get a few cards from the Mulligan. Not really good, to be honest. I don't want to use Juniper and discard all of the stuff I have here. Double Via Seeker. Uh, Malamar too. You know, kind of sucks. But I guess if he plays a bunch of Pokemon down, maybe we can make use of the Chloris. But I don't think so. I opened up with an Absol. Gonna draw a few cards with uh, Crobat V, got the Eternatus. Play down the stadium, so I guess I can get rid of that with Field Blower. Get that out of the get that get that out of our hand. Damn. I can't even talk. But anyway, and it's gonna pass the turn. Okay, five cards. Uh not bad. He actually did put five Pokemon down. And I'm gonna get an additional Pokemon with Fog Crystal. So I think at this point I can just make use of the chorus, kind of. Uh, shuffle and draw seven uh, should be good enough, uh, solid enough. So this is what I'm gonna do. Don't want to dump the other stuff, and paid off. Got the battle compressor. Got computer search. So getting the broken stuff we need to get the Mewtwo V Union out super quick. So discard three pieces of Mewtwo V Union, and gonna use computer search. Discard the Mew. Don't need that. And a psychic energy, and I'm actually gonna get a. Uh, I was going to say Supporter, but yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to get Fog Crystal, get the Tabu Lele GX, and essentially get a Supporter, uh, thin my deck, get the stuff like that. Uh, I do this sort of thing rather than just instantly searching the Lele or the Supporter with Computer Search. Search the Lele instead, and then just grab the stuff that way, thin our deck. It's the Yu-Gi-Oh player in me that does this. Okay, and we're going to attach an energy to the Dunwiz the Crossma. This could be okay, I guess, if I can just get a free turn with this barrier effect when we use the GX attack. My opponent probably going to be getting prizes easily with this Darkness Pokemon. So he's actually going to do Marnie, sort of negating my Tapu Lele, but it's fine. I'm still going to draw cards, get more cards than what we have in hand. And we get Via Seeker, we get Juniper get uh, mail too so that's nice can actually use the via seeker and reuse the chorus too could be something and he just did 60 damage couldn't really do much i guess he didn't draw what he needed and it's gonna put a darkness energy on the crowbat okay uh what am i gonna do here let's use mail get another mysterious treasure top deck one so I think what I'm going to do here, I could use the VS Seeker and just draw a lot of cards. But I got the opportunity to dump everybody here, dump the last piece. And I'm just going to do that. Uh, use the Mysterious Treasure and get Malamar. And instead, I'm just going to go for the Juniper. Draw 7 should be still good, but I just make sure that I discard all of the Mewtwo V Union pieces. And... Got the switch. Looks like we got a battle compressor anyway. But now meet new 2v union is going to come out. And I have everything I needed to make a really strong play, actually. Uh, thanks to our Dimension Valley Stadium, you can seriously do 300 damage out of nowhere with new 2v union. Okay, I'm going to discard the battle compressors. Uh, should I just do... Yeah, I think we have enough psychic energies for now. So go ahead, get rid of a stadium. And I can even use another mysterious treasure. Let's get Malamar. 
so perfect our setup is basically complete and uh, the good news is that I'm just gonna kill this threat the Eternatus before it can evolve he doesn't have anybody down so at least if he does get the dude out I'll be beating him down and get a lead so put the psychic energies and uh, thanks to the Dementia Valley we can go for the 300 damage attack which just to make sure yeah he does need four to do this so go for the manual attachment switch and a perfect uh, turn for us final burn the Eternatus is out and I'm just gonna get two prizes lost the energy too so it's great so I get Cresselia and the fog crystal I don't know how many Cresselias I have in this deck actually I know that I have at least three in like my trunk I guess all of the Cresselias that I have in TCG online but I don't know if I'm running three in this deck because when I built this deck maybe I had two anyway uh, my opponent surrendered so now we go on to game two uh, he gave up kind of quick but I mean yeah he didn't have another Eternatus out I was gonna get like another 300 KO next turn so maybe it was game indeed but let's see what our second opponent is gonna do it's gonna force me to play first you don't really want that from Mewtwo v Union and most of the decks that I build but I guess if we get some in case we can get the Malamars out quicker potentially and of course I see why he wanted me to play first he's playing this fucking Ultra Necrozma Garbodo deck you know the cheating interaction with the Silent Lab but the good news is that you can't play around it if you're smart enough we do have outs it's kind of a predictable deck a very annoying deck but if you got the outs in your deck then you can hopefully deal with it so I'm just gonna put the float stone on the NK and I'm gonna save it I'm gonna sacrifice the Tapulele he's gonna get two prizes for free but I mean I'd rather I, I can't lose the NK I need my energy acceleration so obviously he forced me to play first can't really do much and just gonna get the silent lap down at double dragon energy and start doing strong 170 damage immediately discard energy be a pain in the ass I and mean, that alternate cross my it was just a bullshit design of a card I mean I know and I have uh, played you, you can play around it I have played around it I have a good record with this deck actually believe it or not but I just don't think it's fair um, I guess it's an easy deck for a beginner perhaps just get a powerful combo super quick but it's just that when they know that cards like Silent Lab exist they should have designed this card to be a little bit more balanced I mean, it, it's crazy that this is the regular Pokemon they choose to let be good and then other regular Pokemon suck like the stage twos and shit okay so he's getting a few of those uh, in case down now the good news with my deck is that if we can get the Mewtwo V Union out and make an attack I can just put damage counters with my uh, damage counter attack kill off the small guys before they evolve and then he can't really do shit so we're gonna get rid of his uh, float stone and the silent lab sort of force him to play more down and gonna go with N we got with Tapulele worked out I'm glad uh, he didn't like play around my N not have a lot of cards in hand but as he was going to get the prizes from Tapu Lele, he was always going to have a few cards. And we're going to discard the pieces, new 2 v Union, and just try and do what we can, I guess, for this turn. Let's see, uh, no supporter for next turn. I got the other field blower, but we got to time that right. I got to get the energies on new 2 v Union. I do have all of the pieces, though, so perfect. Going to get them out. We're going to get an energy with uh, Malamar and uh, yes, with the two energies and my stadium, I will be able to go for the damage counter attack. Don't remember what it's called. It's been a while since I used this deck. It's been a while since I, well, I do play Pokemon TCG on and off, but not very consistently these days. Uh, okay, so I don't want to play my stadium. 
because I want to counter his own stadiums, all the, all of the silent laps. But we got to do it if we're going to go for the attack we want to use. So here goes, Slice Explosion, that's right. And I'm going to kill off the in case. So 60 damage, this one has 60 HP, that's correct. And then the other one uh, has 70 HP. So I'm going to put 70 on you. And then the rest, put them on the active uh, Necrozma, I suppose. But we get two prizes, kill off his small guys, no Garbodor for you. And this is how you can sort of counter this deck if you've got Mewtwo V Union. So that's good, because I hate this deck. I don't want to lose to it, because it's just a bullshit tactic, cheap tactic. Okay, and of course, he's going to use Guzma Hala, get rid of my stadium, and get the stuff that he needs for his strategy to work. Um, but with the Garbodors out, I'm kind of in a good position. So it's nice. Uh, definitely going to get a double dragon energy, probably like a floatstone or lucky egg or whatever, and then the silent lab. Uh, we've got the Via Seeker too now, so I can use a supporter next turn. Okay, so here comes the silent lab, here comes the lucky egg. I can play around the lucky egg easily. I don't even have to use field blower. I can just use my size explosion attack, and he's not going to get the gain. And another um, float stone. And he's handless now. He doesn't have anything. So I guess if I corner him, I'm just going to win. Now, another good thing about the Mewtwo V Union, which I kind of didn't realize too. Um, he didn't, I didn't lose an energy from his attack. And I think it's because he has, uh, Mewtwo V Union has this sort of effect that it's unaffected by effect. So... He can't discard my energies with that, that with that dude, which is perfect. Thank God for that. So gonna get rid of his shit with the field blower. Didn't really need to because I am gonna kill off the uh, trubbish anyway. But might as well. We're not gonna draw a lot of cards with N. Thank God I saw an energy that would have been bad. And. We are going to discard cards we don't need with Battle Compressor, do the Mew, do, uh, I guess, maybe an Energy. Not really. Let's just do the Mew. I got everything that I need. So Malamar, I guess power up the Giratina, might use it. It's probably bad, though, because once Mewtwo dies, that guy, he only needs to get one prize. Giratina is small. I should probably try and get, use a different Pokemon. So let's kill off the Trubbish once again and put 80 damage counters on Necrozma. Put the other one on the other one and down to two prizes. So nice. Now, unfortunately though, um, I had to give him free cards with N, really helped him out. And being at two prizes, I think, yeah, you have to be like a two or less, and Necrozma can attack for free anyway. So, I mean, at this point, Garbodor isn't going to matter much, but in the sense that we can still have our abilities, it's important. Still use the Malabar. Okay, and I top deck the uh, Galarian Rapidash V, which is perfect, exactly what I needed here. I mean, we could use the Giratina, but then it's too risky. If he has the double dragon energy, he kills me off on the next one. So if I use the Rapidash, he can't kill it in one shot, but I can kill him in one shot. And I'm going to checkmate him here with N. Just going to be down to one card. Got Malamar, got the Mysterious Treasure. It's, it's actually perfect. I have everything I need. He doesn't really have much. So this is a very good checkmate, I would say. Unless he's super lucky and he top sticks like a Juniper next turn or whatever. Okay. So Psychic. Do enough damage. Just enough to kill a small Pokemon. 120 damage. And now I'm down to one prize. Of course, he's down to one prize. But can you do something with just two cards? Special charge. And he surrendered right there. So a nice GG with Mewtwo V Union. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What a